At what age do kids realize they're being lied to? Hey, this is Ryan Thomas, a child of parental alienation who was able to reunite with my dad. And in this video, we're talking about when kids realize I've been having the wool pulled over my eyes and it sucks. Uh, this question was sent in by Ryan. Good name. Uh, what age do kids realize that they've been told half truths? Well, that's a really interesting question and I understand that the sort of the context of this is like, hey, when's my kid going to realize that they've been screwed around with and, and come back to me? What I can say is this. I don't know that there's a specific age. I think that somebody could have a reasonable expectation that when you get into your late teens, you should start being more aware. When you're certainly in your 20s, you should definitely become more aware. And by the time you're 30s, if you haven't figured it out by 30, then it is like way past your, you know, your time. You're just hopeless. I don't think that's true. Um, I considered myself a very smart, intelligent, productive person, and it took me into my mid-20s before I realized that I had been given half-truths, which is a very polite way of saying being lied and manipulated to all my life and have a relationship with my dad and his entire family ruined. <laughs> but what I will say is that it's mainly about the experiences that you have in life. And it's when does something happen that pops up as relevant or, hmm, this doesn't make sense or this doesn't go together. And you can hear things all day long. You could have people saying, your dad's a, you know, your dad's a good guy. And I go, yeah, 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 not what they say. And I have heard it so long that I just believe it, right? It's not until something strikes a chord with you that you really start paying attention. I'll make a, an, exa uh, an example is when you're not thinking about driving, uh, buying a car, you're driving around, you're not paying attention to any of the vehicles. But when you're in the market to buy a car and you're driving around, you're going, oh, okay, that's a Lexus, that's a Toyota, oh, that's the new version of, suddenly, everywhere you're driving, you're noticing car color, styles, two door, four door, sunroof, soft top, all of these things. Everywhere you're driving, there's cars everywhere. It's like an influx of, of information. The only difference is that you're now aware of it because it has relevance to you. Because you're in the market to shop for a car, it's cars around you are now opportunities for you to get some more information. And it's the same way when it comes to half truths. You can have somebody saying, hey, she's lying to you, she's lying to you, or he's, he's been lying his whole life, they're manipulating you. And you're, yeah, 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 yeah. But it's not until something goes, hmm, and then it's like all of a sudden you get that, just that little inception moment that says, I'm, Am I being lied to? Or maybe I'm in the market for a car. And now everywhere you go, you start looking just like those cars and saying, is that true? Is that true? Well, if I'm to believe that, then these three other things may or may not have been true. And then it's like the, it's like the, the, the sweater that just starts to become unraveled. The more that you realize, well, if these three things aren't true, and I base decisions on these three things, well then that must mean that the, pre, the, the stories before that weren't true. And now it just all starts going to hell because everything is becoming unraveled. That's what ends up happening. So it's not so much a, a time or an age, it's experience. It's things that start happening and it can be at a very early age, it could be any age, but it's all about relevance. And when does something come that really makes you turn your head and question? And when that happens, that's where the self-discovery, especially for the child, goes into full effect. And that's what it was for me. You know, it's not about having somebody tell you. It's about turning that, that moment on in your brain so that the child starts investigating so that that child goes on the discovery hunt to realize what's fact, what's fiction, and then it all starts to fall apart once the alienation and, and the manipulation comes to light. 
So I hope that gives you some information, Ryan, and, and some idea of kind of debunking this idea of age. Uh, it's really not that. So I hope this helps. Uh, hey, if you want more videos like this, please click the subscribe button so that I can send you more videos like this right into your inbox. Uh, I thank you for taking the time to listen and watch this video. I hope it helped. Again, I'm Ryan Thomas, and I will see you on the next video. Thank you.